is is with Bud Light because initially, obviously, you get so much pushback, and it's like, well, Bud, Bud Light, and what are you doing, and what you know, what they have said and done, and it's almost like. First of all, business-wise, yeah, when, when a company's down, yeah, they're, they're freaking desperate. And, and if they're going to pay a lot of money, why wouldn't I take that? And I, that's simplifying probably, but from an outsider's perspective. But number two, maybe more importantly, people can make mistakes. And people, I think, deserve second chances. And even if it's a big corporation, because the actions of one don't define the entire company. And I loved that you gave them a second chance. What was your mentality behind that? You're always going to have the crazy, the crazies on both sides. You got crazy on the conservative side. You got crazy on the liberal side. But basically, you know, I I just, we were just talking about it here. When I uh, am doing these deals now, I'm only doing deals with people that I'm aligned with and people that I really want to be in business with. And when you look at Anheuser-Busch as a company and as a whole as what they do, you know, and I've said this publicly before, but- they spend almost a billion dollars a year with U.S. farmers for their for their products. Um, Forty-four million dollars that they've spent for their folds of honor, where they take care of fallen uh, first responders, military, police, and and and, and rescue. Um, if anybody you care about has ever served, yeah, and you work at Anheuser Busch, you can hang their pictures in the hallways of Anheuser Busch's. There's a wall a mile long of all these military people from like the, the 30s and, you know, all the way up till today. And, you know, I walked the halls and, and did all the things there. I am way more aligned with Anheuser-Busch than other beer companies. So that's why I got back in business with Anheuser-Busch. And everybody can say it's about the money. Um, nothing is about the money for me. You've anymore. proven that. Nothing. You, you've money. proven that. I mean, do we need to tell the story again? You can wad up the little ball <laughs> and, show, you um, know. You know, I, I just, I'm not one of these guys that I don't have to go beat my, you'll never see me showing up at halftime and handing out a, a, a six foot check to, to things. I do everything these days, whether it's donating charity, taking care of other people, um, aligning myself with, with people that I want to be in business with, um, because that's what I want to do. And that's how I want to live my life. And it has nothing to do with public Where does image. That come from? My public image is actually probably worse, worse than uh, you know. I, I was talking to I had I, I had Sean Merriman in my office yesterday, right? Love him. And Sean walked around, did a tour of the office, and and, and we're talking and we're talking about some stuff. And he's like, "Why don't you talk about this stuff publicly?" And I said, "Sean, because I don't give a shit. That's why. Yeah, I don't care." What other people think or whatever I know and the people that I care about know, everybody else can think whatever they want to think. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to go out there and I, I just don't care. It's just it's as simple when as that. When did you stop caring? I don't know if I ever cared, to be honest with you. <laughs> I don't know if I ever cared. When you get in early and you start playing the game and as you work your way up and you start to see how things really work and how the world really operates, it's actually kind of gross. And... I was never going to be a person that would do something against what I believed for money. I said it when I got into this thing, people thought I was ridiculous that I wanted to be in the fight business when I said I wanted to be in the fight business. We bought the UFC. People thought it was ridiculous and it would never work and it was never going to be anything. Um, The media wouldn't cover us anyway. Um, We had to figure out how to run this business without the help of anybody. Then I wanted to start Power Slap. Everybody shit on it and said it would never work. And didn't. I, if I cared what people thought, I'd still be a bellman at the Boston Harbor mm. Hotel. You know what I mean? That's the truth. If I really cared what people thought, I'd still be doing that. I have found um, such freedom in that when you let go. I mean, it sounds like you've never had it, which is a blessing. Um, I live one of those lives. I posted this the other day. Create a life that you can't wait to wake up to. I saw that. I live that life. I literally, I hate to sleep. I hate sleeping. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I hate sleeping. How much sleep do you get? Not much. What's that? Four. Four or five a night. I hate sleep. I love every minute of my life. Love every minute of it. I can't wait to wake up tomorrow. I can't wait to start tomorrow. And and when you when you really feel that way, 
I, I just don't, I really don't give a shit about a lot of things. I love it. <laughs> I wish it hadn't taken me 50 years. Because now I'm like, oh, you don't like me? Okay, that's actually your loss because I'm actually kind of nice. Pretty good friend, pretty loyal, but fine, next. It's so cool. It's just, I don't think most people realize it ever, at t- but, but certainly you're rare. Thank you. Do you agree? <laughs> like, who else do you know that doesn't give a rat's you know what? Yeah. I, I think, I think there are, I, I think, uh, they exist at some sort of level, you know? No, um, no one's, and, and this is why you're you. There's, I don't know that there ever will be anyone else. I'm literally not kissing your ass. I'm serious because having been an observer for so long, um, almost 30 years in this industry, you know, and, and meeting and watching different commissioners and whether it's coaches, commissioners, um, people who run leagues, everyone has, has those concerns and fears, right? Um, whether it's financial or whatever else, just image. Ego. I think that's the word. Ego. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Do you care about that at all when it comes to, like, Dana the man? Dana the husband? Dana the father? Well, me and my wife went through a situation last year, uh, you know, that we both had to, had to face. And the only thing that mattered to us was our kids. It's like, I'm going to be judged for the rest of my life for that. Um, and I should be. It happened. 